Good morning, guys, or I guess I should say good afternoon, depending on where you're located. Um, this is Social Fire, and I'm back again to discuss my top picks for the red and blue dragon stones. So we'll start off with the blue dragon stone here. Um, now, this one does require purchase. It's currently available under Pilaf's Trobe with the Christmas Celebration Pack. It's $44.99, and you get potential orbs of each type, the Christmas candy canes, and the Santa Master Roshi as well as the Super Dragonstone 4 or Blue Dragonstone. Now, starting with this list, my top pick would be the Super Agility Super Vegito. So he's still a great unit to this day. Um, his ability to reduce damage by 80% for normal attacks and his counter with tremendous power is still very useful, very powerful, and he fits well on a Patara category team. He would also fit well on a Majin Buu Saga or Super Mono Agility team. There's a lot of options here. And his key links won't be an issue, as most Super Saiyan units are, and you'll be able to get his super attacks pretty much every rotation. If you don't have this unit, you'll likely want to pick him up. Um, he's very helpful in Super Battle Road and Battlefield. And also, especially if you're struggling to beat the category stages of Super Battle Road, um, he can reduce up to 80% normal attacks, which is, again, very helpful there. Now, my second pick here or I guess still a top pick, but for the extreme versions would be the Extreme Tech Golden Frieza. So besides Super Vegito, I would definitely recommend this guy um, since he has the ability to reduce damage by 70% if HP is above 50%. He links well with other Frieza clan members and can also be ran on a lot of category teams like Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Full Power, and also Enhanced Transformation and Most Malevolent Clan, which should be available in Global in the near future. Now, he also causes immense damage for his super attack and gets attack plus 70% from his passive, so he's much better in terms of overall balance compared to the agility version, which is mainly a defensive unit. He'll definitely do well on Super Battle Road and Battlefield for sure, as well as your typical Dokkan events. Now my um, third pick here would be the Super Saiyan 3 Gold Tanks. Now, just keep in mind a lot of this uh, is subjective, this is just my third pick. Um, so with Super Saiyan 3 Gold Tanks, he, um, it's worth mentioning that he has four categories, Fusion, Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, and Super Saiyan 3. So the Fusion category can be pretty limited, and some players have a harder time finding units for it, so this again could be a great option for that. Uh, so if these are teams you're still working on, he may be a great option. Plus his passive is 100% to attack when performing a super attack, so another again, a great option if you don't have the physical version, which technically is a better Gold Tanks unit. My honorable mentions here would be the Majin Buu Ultimate Gohan unit, mainly because he only falls under the Majin Buu Saga category right now, but he does increase attack and recover HP with every key sphere obtained. He's a decent option still for Extreme, Majin Buu, or Enhanced Transformation, which again are currently on JP, so when those come to Global, I would probably bump them up a little bit, but again, great choice overall. My second honorable mention here would be the Kaioken Blue Goku. Now it is rumored that he will be receiving an EZA at some point, though nothing has really been confirmed yet. Um, still, he does have good blinks, and he could be a good option for our Realm of Gods team. The passive skill, although a flat increase, still provides 20,000 to attack, which is the equivalent of 140% increase at Rainbow. He also gets a plus 10,000 to defense from his passive as well. The main drawback here is that he sacrifices 7% HP for every super attack performed. Now, moving on to the redstone options here. Now, my top pick um, with this one would be the Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. So, I actually use this unit a lot. He's probably one of the best tanks in the game, and he also received an EZA recently, again on JP, but I assume we'd have it in a few months. Um, if you don't have a single copy of this unit, I highly recommend that you pick him up since he can greatly help your Super Saiyan team to clear the tougher events. He's mainly utilized as a tank and you don't necessarily need to dupe him, um, even though dupes will further maximize his potential. Uh, in addition to his tanking ability, his super attack has a high chance to stun enemies, so he's very helpful for Super Battle Road and Battlefield stages. He can also be a great addition to a strength, Super Saiyan 3, or just a super type team. With his future EZA, he'll get 120% to attack when enemies are stunned, so um, hopefully we'll see that on Global soon. 
Now, um, my second option here would be the Intellect Janemba. Although Global doesn't have his EZA yet, we will be getting it at some point, and Janemba does arguably have the best EZA in the game. With it, he is pretty amazing. Um, his super attack also lowers defense, and with his passive, guard is activated against all types. And once he does get that EZA, he has a medium chance to avoid attacks, and his leader skill gets a huge boost. If you have the right team for Janemba, he could be a top pick here. Um, the great thing about this unit is that like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, you don't necessarily need dupes for him to be um, useful. He's got the ability to guard again effectively against all types, so he can be one of your go-to options in terms of defensive units. My third pick here would be Tech Beerus. Now again, this is another unit that received an EZA on JP recently, probably the second best improvement with that EZA. Rage also got a buff on Global a while back uh, with the Giant category, so that's also another plus here. Um, Beers can hit pretty hard, and with his EZA, once we do get it, his super attack is improved from supreme to immense damage. Also from his passive, he gets plus 80% for both attack and defense at the start of the turn, and an additional 40% to attack for 4 turns upon receiving an attack. He's a very solid unit for both movie bosses and realm of gods. He's also the best linking partner for LR Beers and Whis. So another um, choice here, again, if you have the LR Beers and Whis, that may be a good option for you. Now my honorable mentions for the Red Dragon Stone is, starts off with Strength Gogeta. So there's a big possibility this unit will be getting an easy A soon, most likely on JP first. Um, he is still a decent unit without that, and his attacks are effective again against all types. So you don't necessarily need a dupe for him to do pretty well. Um, another fusion category unit, which again is fairly limited, so another good reason to pick them up here, uh, especially if you're trying to build that team. Um, also, if you don't have an like Gogeta, I would recommend picking it up as well. Second honorable mention here would be Kid Buu. Um, so with this unit, it's a great support unit, again further improved with the EZA currently on JP, uh, especially for a resurrected warrior team. He raises attack and defense by a massive 50% for all allies as long as HP stays above 80%, and he can recover HP. Now with his EZA, when we eventually get it, if the HP falls below 80%, he will still provide an additional 30% to attack and defense. So this unit is ideal when running extreme type teams, and he's one of the best support units as well as the ability to hit pretty hard since after that EZA he gets an immense damage increase. So with the redstone, overall, there are a lot of great choices. Um, this is just some of my top picks. The family Kamehameha units are always a great choice. Um, and like Gohan has a great EZA. Full Power Frieza is great after his EZA as well. It really depends on the best choices for you and what teams you're trying to build. Um, so in closing, just remember this is subjective. These are just my top picks. And some of these are I'm basing on teams that I'm still building. So when you're making these, take into account what teams you're trying to build, what you're trying to improve, and really just what units you still need at this point. So anyways guys, I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking about choosing with the Red God Dragonstone, and if you're purchasing the Blue, Dra Blue God Dragonstone, let me know what you're thinking there, and what you think about the list overall guys. So anyways, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.